Hello everyone, welcome to BISPtraining.com. My name is Sumit and from today onwards we'll be going to start a new tutorial series in respective of Jython. So this is my first video in Jython tutorial and in this video I'm going to demonstrate you how to download and set up Jython on a local system and what are the various configurations are required in order to do so. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to download the Jython latest version. So for that, we're going to visit the website. So from www.jython.org slash download.html by visiting this link, you can have an option to download either 2.1 version or 2.2 version. So I have already downloaded the setup file that is the Jython installer 2.2.1 version. So that's the latest version 2.2 version. So I have downloaded it and next is I'm going to install it. So let's have a look how to install and configure it. So there are two ways to do the installation. The first way is either we can directly click on this setup file and the installation will begin. Another way is by going into path we can down by going into command prompt and by using Java we can install it so we'll be going to use the easy easy option that is that the directly clicking on it so as I directly click on it I simply click on it and I got a message that you are unable to install Jython version 2.2.1 and you can opt the language either English or German so I'll go with English click on next accept next the following installation types are available all everything including sources as well or standard which will include the core library module demos examples and documentations or you can go for custom one as well so I'll go with the first option I'll choose the first option that is all everything including sources so it will include everything as well as the sources as well so I of the first option click on next this is the parent directory where the Jython is going to be installed. That is the C drive Jython 2.2.1 version 2.2.1. If you want, you can install it on any other. You can change the parent directory as well. So anyway, I click on next. It will create a directory. So I click on next to continue the installation and then it will ask for in next step it is looking for the Java home directory and that's the Java home directory I have already installed Java on my system so I click on next and target directory will be C drive Jython installation type that's the and the OS name will be Windows 7 Java vendor Oracle corporation and so on and when we click on next the installation will begin. So it will take some time to complete the installation and once the installation will be done on our C drive you can see a folder has been created named as Jython 2.2.1 with all the libraries with lib and uh, these are the demo files for applets and for swing and so on and for documentation for j licenses if you want to see more about licenses and all so we can see the licenses and other details. And once the installation is completed, so it will close the installer and the Jython has been installed successfully. Now to verify whether the Jython has been installed on our system or not, we need to execute few commands. And you can see I got a confirmation message. Finish and I finish it. Now let's execute few commands to make sure whether the Jython has been installed successfully or not. So in order to do so, so first of all, open command. So I look for command and I'll get back to the C drive and in C drive, I pass dir command just to make sure whether the Jython has been installed or not. So you can see I found a directory named as Jython 2.2.1. Then I pass command cd Jython 2.2.1 and again, I pass dir command to find out whether all the files have been successfully installed or not. 
and finally i specify a command here jython just to test whether jython has been installed successfully or not so when i pass command jython it will load the libraries and you can see a prompt is coming so this prompt indicates that the jython has been installed successfully and if i want to ex exit it so i simple type command here sys dot exit so i'm getting one error message system dot exit because this sys module the, the sys uh, package does not available right now so i write a command import sys and then sys dot exit so you can see here it has been successfully exited from the system from the jython system it means the jython has been installed and configured successfully so that's all in this video i hope it's easy for you to understand how to download and install jython in our next video we'll be going to understand that what exactly jython is and why should we go for why should we opt jython as a programming language and what are the benefits of using jython and will some basic syntaxes in jython as well so if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptennis.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on jython keep watching have a nice day goodbye